no mother or any human being a person ever expects that call. Right now, a heartbroken mother searching for answers as her son, a beloved security guard, was gunned down on the job. And now city council members are urging action to make sure a tragedy like this doesn't happen again. Daryl King was shot on Iberville in North Carrollton last night outside a bar he was hired to protect. That's where we find WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore live at 10. Jonah, his family says he was their hero. The family of Daryl King says he loved his job and did everything he can to protect the people he served. His mother telling me he was lovable, calling him a big guy with the kindest heart. At 12.25 this morning, my world rocked. The mother of 53-year-old Daryl King says Monday morning she was awakened by a call no mother wants to receive. That nurse said, Ms. Turner, you need to come to the hospital to see, come see about Daryl. Sunday night, King was working security detail at Whitson on Carrollton Avenue. According to the bar's owner, a man was trying to enter the bar with a gun. When King refused him entry, the man reportedly fired, hitting King once in his body. He said, we tried to resuscitate him to no avail. He's deceased. The 53-year-old was the middle child of five boys. He was a beloved father, grandfather, brother, and son. The biggest thing we're going to miss is him. Um, you know, he, he, he leaves a hole, um, and, and no one will be able to take that. King's brother, Brian Turner, says his big brother was a funny guy. His quirky jokes at times. Um, it was sometimes his jokes that nobody seemed to get but him but also a man of integrity and the person that wanted to make the world a better place. He recently had run for OPTEC. He had worked previously um, with the mental health unit um, with the New Orleans Police Department. He's been able to volunteer for the unhoused population. Carol Murray Turner says her child was precious, telling WDSU he was only doing his job and did not deserve to have his life taken away. I pray for that person. I pray for that person. Amen. How dare you have the audacity to pay God? The family says they're hoping for justice. We're asking the community, do not harbor this individual. And leaning on their faith. My God is going to prevail. And you're going to pay one way or the other. King's loss extends to the WDSU family as he also covers security detail at our station. Tonight, there's no word on a motive or a suspect, and we will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest as we learn more. We're live in Carrollton tonight. Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News.